Oh, oh. Hey, what's up? I didn't see you there. Um, welcome back to another episode of E Creeks Outdoors, guys. Just playing around a little bit, but um, oh, guys, I wanted to make a quick video for you tonight. I gotta keep it down a little bit because we got people sleeping in my house, my parents, and um, it's currently 1:21 in the morning, guys. And if you guys have been watching on the channel, you know that I leave for Brazil soon hopefully if you've watched any of the last videos well i actually leave guys i gotta leave my house here i gotta wake up in like five hours and um my flight leaves in like 11 hours at this point guys so before i leave i'm up pretty late tonight packing getting everything ready i wanted to just do a rundown guys a quick update on the trip what i packed and what it's going to be like going to brazil for just under four months to study abroad so guys, this right here is everything I packed. I got a guitar case. Got my new cowboy hat. That's what I'm wearing tomorrow right here. Represent Fidel. I got my REI suitcase right here. This thing is packed to the brim. I can't even lift it. Oh. Pretty freaking badass suitcase. And my REI backpack. Both those are packed pretty tight. But overall, I'm pretty happy on how I did for luggage, guys. I um, probably could have shaved off a few more things to make this a little bit better of a fit. But I had some stuff I did need to bring. So overall, this is a rough estimate of what I brought clothing-wise, guys. I brought um, eight pairs of shorts. Those are A lot of those are also like athletic shorts, so I can go to the gym. One pair of swim trunks. Six pairs of... Um, combined pants and sweats. I think that's actually five. I think I'm five. I think I have two pairs of sweats and three pairs of pants. 16 short sleeve t shirts, four long sleeve t shirts, five like jacket, sweatshirts, or crew necks, and socks and underwear. So that is it, guys, on the clothes. And what I did, guys, was I took those. This is a little pro tip. I bought these at Walmart. I bought two packs when they were five bucks each. Magic bag is called. Um, these are travel ones. You just put your clothes in there, roll them up, and it like sucks all the air out. They're like vacuum seal bags. You can also, I think next time I might get ones better that you put them down and you hook a vacuum um, sucker like from your vacuum cleaner up to it, and it sucks all the air out. So that is why I was able to fit so much into this bag, guys. Also, I'm bringing my laptop in my backpack. Here's what we got. Oh. Here's what it looks like, guys. Bless you. See, that's there's like probably like six shirts in there. So there's some socks, some underwear, so and a pair of shorts or something in there. So that's how you do that, guys. I got some books, I got all my electronic stuff. Um, this book I'm really excited about, The Arabian Nights. This is like what Alibaba and the Fifty Thieves is from, or Aladdin. Really little book. Um, also got a copy of The Alchemist, one of my favorite books of all time. Um, somebody gave this to me, back to me with a little, little special note in it for me. And, um, I have one other book my sister gave me. So, other than that, guys, I have my guitar, just the essentials, you know, a toothbrush, a couple water bottles. Um, I have all my documents, you gotta have passport. Uh, my visa, I brought a ton of documents, a copy of my ID, um, bunch of stuff. Oh, I had to get, this is the one thing, guys, this will be really helpful to you. So, if you're going on an international flight, a lot of them right now, you have to get a COVID test to get on it. And I'm going to tell you how to do that. So, what I did for mine, guys, is I scheduled it about, I think I could only do schedule it two days before I had to call around a lot, check a lot of different places, check my local health department, and I checked uh, a couple doctor's offices nearby. But what I found out the best thing to do was I went to CVS actually to their Minute Clinic. And it, just this past Wednesday, it's Sunday today, on Wednesday, I scheduled it. You can only schedule two days out. I scheduled it for Friday at 2 p.m. You have to get the COVID test within 72 hours of your boarding time for your flight and when you're doing an international flight that just is 
your first flight, not the international one. So I boy over in Atlanta. It's just my first flight. It has to be within 72 hours that I had to get a COVID test. Schedule was on Wednesday, within two days. I got in at the uh, minute, cl minute clinic. I had it scheduled for 2 p.m. on Friday. So basically what you do for CVS is you just pull up, you do it all yourself. It's like a little bank teller thing. They have a bag they give you, you take it out, they tell you what to do, you swab it up in your nose a little bit, do the other side, put it back in, wipe the stuff off, and send it. I had the results, um, I think within like 30 hours or something like that. It was super quick, super reliable. Since it was on the weekend, I was worried about getting it back with the health department and stuff. So if you guys are gonna fly, um, abroad, travel abroad, I would highly suggest going to CVS. I'm sure maybe Walgreens has like the same thing. CVS did a great job. Um, no complaints on there for me. Got my results super quick. Set that up also through like the my chart thing they have. Just get it right to your phone. So I printed those results off. Um, got that all in my backpack. And I'm trying to think what else I have guys. Um, oh, for shoes. I'm actually, I'm bringing, okay, I'm bringing a pair of Flip-flops, big flip-flop guy. Um, they're like some Ruka flip-flops. A pair of Birkenstocks. A pair of uh, low-top, like Van-style tennis shoes. A pair of more athletic tennis shoes, and one for working out. So I have five pairs of footwear. Um, two are like flip-flop sandals. And that's it on shoes. I tried really not to bring a lot of clothes, guys. I get one checked bag. And one carry-on. I'm going to try to use my guitar as a carry-on. Not so sure about that. I was looking it up and a lot of things were saying that you could use a guitar as a carry-on as long as it fits. So just bring the guitar, guys. Check this bag. And I got my backpack packed on lunch. And another good tip, guys, is if you're going on an international flight or if you're going somewhere for a while, I put some extra clothes um, or some of my clothes from my suitcase actually into my backpack in case your luggage gets delayed or lost. Throw that in your backpack and then you'll have clothes for a couple of days just in case something happens because I have had it on flights before like when I went to Breckenridge, Colorado, our um, snowboards actually were like a couple hours late because we didn't check in long enough before. Um, so if you're ever flying somewhere, look how long you need to be there for your, how long before you need to be at the airport for your stuff to be guaranteed to get there. So I'm very excited to leave Noir guys. I just wanted to update you guys. Um, kind of give you a couple helpful tools here for if you're going to be flying abroad and I will be documenting this whole journey as always guys and uh, if you love adventure you love traveling eat Kriegs outdoors subscribe below guys thank you so much for watching um, I gotta get up here in about five hours so I'm gonna get some shut eye we're about ready to go guys I will see you guys in Brazil thank you so much for watching keep living adventure style peace out guys